If I were to capture a moving shot of three soda cans where the camera slides from one side to the other while simultaneously panning in the opposite direction, and then I repeated the exact same movement only this time with only one soda can in the frame, I can make it look like the other two soda cans have magically appeared by simply crossfading the first shot into the second. Similarly, if I do a camera movement to capture this ND filter sitting on my desk and then repeated the same shot with two more filters, once again, a simple crossfade creates the illusion that the other two two filters have magically appeared out of thin air. We often see this style of pack shot being used in commercials where a product line is being revealed, whether it be shampoo, an alcohol brand, a smartphone, and many others. But this type of effect can only be made possible by getting the exact same 100% identical camera movement in both shots. So today we'll be talking a little bit about the type of gear that is used to pull off shots like this, as well as some of the benefits of automated camera movement featuring the Edelkrone Slider 1 V2 and the Edelkrone Head 1. About two years ago, I made one of the best investments of my filmmaking career. This is the original Edelkrone Slider 1 and Motion Module. So the original Slider 1 could be used on its own manually, but if you got the Motion Module separately and attached the Slider 1 to it, you could get fully automated slides using an app on a smartphone. And when I bought this thing about two years ago, the whole package cost me about $640. Now I will admit that at the time, it was really hard to stomach the investment, but I knew that if I played my cards right, it would be well worth the money because of the portability and features. And lo and behold, I ended up filming tons of real estate videos with the Slider 1 and Motion Module, and ultimately that $640 investment made me far more money throughout the following year. Fast forward now to 2019, and Edelkrone has come out with their new Slider 1 version 2. For $499, the V2 is sold as a single unit, which means that the Motion Module is essentially built into the slider. Whereas with the older version, the slider and the Motion Module were sold separately, and I assume that's what made it more expensive. Now you'll notice that the version 2 is actually a little less chunky, a little more sleek, but also a bit longer than the previous version but those aren't the only things they've changed. The Slider 1 V2 has a completely new mechanical design with backlash-free gears, making it an overall smoother slide. They've improved the vertical carrying capacity, which means you can get vertical slides with cameras up to five pounds. But my favorite new feature is the wireless connectivity between the Slider 1 and other Edelkrone products like the Head 1. The Head 1 can be used on its own on a tripod to capture smooth pans, panoramic photos, and motion time lapses and other cool effects. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set all of this up. Now, rather than putting the camera directly onto the head one, they recommend using some sort of tripod head, whether that's a ball head or whatever. But I've got here the Edelkrone Flex Tilt Head 2. This thing, I honestly don't know how I functioned without it before. This is one of the greatest inventions of all time. Like, in all, like this stuff is cool, but this flex tilt head is a serious game changer. So the first thing you wanna do is attach the tripod head to the head one, and I'm just gonna go for it here and start screwing it on. Pretty simple stuff. And once it's tight, you can take the whole thing and screw the head one onto the slider one. And you wanna be sure not to over tighten any of the stuff because there are moving parts. But once it's nice and snug, you can leave it and it's pretty much ready to go. Now, of course we need a camera, so I'll be using my Sony a6500 and I'll just attach it to the flex tilt head like so. Now that this is all assembled, I'll fire up the Edelkrone app and you'll notice that it prompts us with this message. It says, please keep your phone close to the bundle you want to control and press okay. It also says, please make sure that the batteries on each item of the bundle are attached. So both of these units take Canon LPE6 batteries. I'll start by attaching one to the head one and then the other into the slider one. Wait for the beep, there is one and there's the other. So I'll hit okay on the phone. It's gonna connect and within seconds, boom, the app is fired up and ready to go. On the screen, we have two joysticks, one for the slider and one for the head one. The slide joystick will control the speed of the slide as you're putting it into position. If we go all the way to the left, you'll notice that the slider starts going at its full speed. And the same goes for the pan. If we put that all the way to the right, we get a full speed pan to the right. Now let's say I wanna get a nice articulating shot of a product like this little camera right here. 
Well, what I can do is place it on my table and start positioning my camera in its beginning position. So I'll take the slider and make sure that I'm all the way to the left because that's where I wanna start. And now that we're all the way to the left, I'm gonna start panning to the right. I'm gonna aim my camera down using the flex tilt head. I'll pan a little bit more to the right. And I'm pretty happy with this frame right here as our starting point. So what I'll do is go into the app and hold down on pose one, and that will set the starting position for our slide. Next, I'll use the slide joystick and push all the way to the right to bring the camera to the opposite side and I'll also start panning in the opposite direction. I'll make some minor adjustments for our final position, and once I'm happy with the ending pose, I'll hold down on pose two, and that will save it, and we're pretty much ready to go. All there's left to do is select the slide speed. I think 75% should do the trick, and I'll also go ahead and set the ease to my preference. Once we're ready to go, I'll take these two fingers and click pose one and pose two simultaneously, and this will start an infinite loop between our two poses. This articulating camera movement that we just pulled off is called a parallax and it occurs when the background and the foreground are moving across the frame at different speeds. And this effect looks great for interviews or product shots, real estate videos, really anything you can come up with. Now if you also get yourself a shutter cable, another really cool feature with these products is stop motions and time lapses. If I click on the stop motion icon at the bottom of the screen, it will bring up this window where I can select the step size and the frame count. Now I find that a good frame rate for stop motion is about 12 frames per second, so if I want a four second stop motion where it slides from left to right, then I want about 48 frames. So I'll go ahead and set the frame count to 48 and hit done. And I personally don't care much about the ease in or ease out, so I'll keep that at the lowest. And once that is set, I'll hit start and we're ready to start capturing our stop motion. Now, of course, we wanna make sure that we plug one end of the shutter cable into the camera and then we take the other end and plug it into either the slider or the head one, depending on what you're using. If you're using both the head one and the slider, then it makes more sense to plug it directly into the head one. But if you're using just the slider, then obviously you can plug it directly into there as well. So I'm gonna start here with our little mini camera off frame, and I'm gonna capture my first frame of the stop motion. Now the cool thing about stop motion is that there are endless possibilities with what you can do. I was playing around with it the other night when I was making dinner and the results are actually pretty cool. Now similar to the stop motion feature, there's actually also a time lapse function which is extremely simple to use. And one of the coolest things about automated camera movement like this is that you can get those cool reveal effects like I showed you at the beginning of this video. But at the end of the day, my favorite thing about both these products is how practical they are for the size. What's great is that I don't need a separate bag or case to carry this stuff around around, I could put it right in there with the rest of my gear. And because everything is automated and controlled by the app, this makes it very easy to get smooth and precise movements that are consistent throughout an edit. If you're interested in checking out any of these products, everything will be linked down below. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!